Hello there guys and welcome to another episode of Evanant Design. I'm in the middle of moving all my stuff, even my microphone is on a lamp head. So <laughs> yeah, we, we have to do what we can with the things we got today. So. so the topic of today is something that I've been getting a lot of questions about and that is brushes and brush packs. You know, I've been getting questions like, uh, which brush pack is the best for landscape painting? Or um, I have way too many brushes and I, I don't know which ones to use. And uh, like, which which brush did you use here, <laughs> and stuff like that. So it's it's pretty important to address this uh, uh, these questions, I think. So my answer to that is to you know stop worrying about brushes. Just pick one brush pack and stick to a few of the brushes that come with it, you know, a few favorite ones that you like the most. Over here at Evident Design, there's a free brush pack that you can use and you should look for the video coming up on using that brush pack. So am I saying that brushes don't matter at all to your art or, you know, art creation? Well, no and yes. So the first thing is that brushes are tools and just like any other tool, uh, brushes won't make you a better creator or a better artist you make yourself a better artist. Through practice, studies, um, playing around, sketching, and learning from masters and professionals, that's how you become a better artist. Not by having, you know, a, a certain set of, of brushes or one brush that, you know, makes, makes all your paintings look awesome. The second thing is that special brushes, they provide a way to uh, achieve specific results or special effects. And that's why so many brush packs have so many um, brushes in them. Because in my brush pack, for example, the one that we have at Evanant, um, I use maybe four or five of those brushes, you know, for the 95% of the time. And then the other, um, the other brushes that I have in the pack, I use for 5%. Every now and then when I want to pull off something specific or something unique, I don't want to sit and paint, you know, every single detail for like, 30 minutes where I can just pick one of the brushes and brush it on and it takes two seconds. So that's something to keep in mind. Brushes are mainly, I mean, they should be regarded as something to use for special effects or when you want to pull off something very unique. So, um, you know, which brushes do you end up with? Um, let me ask you a question first. You remember those pencil bags that you had as a kid, uh, you know, going to school? I had one anyway, and I had like 30 or 35 pens and pencils in there, uh, but I only used like three or four of them because I liked the way they felt, you know, I had, I had become used to them, and um, you know, I just overall liked them more, but I still had 35, and the same thing goes for Photoshop brushes, or any brushes, and that is that you, you have all these things around, but you just use a few of them because you like the way they feel and you like the, the effect they pull off and you become used to them. So my tip to you is to find one brush pack. I can recommend the, the brush pack that I'm giving you, the, the Evanant brush pack, and find a few of them that you like the most. Some of the first ones, the, the texture brushes, they're kind of similar. Um, I, I try to play around a bit with those and see if you don't like one over the other, and then, then just stick to that one. Because I guarantee you, if you just stick to one that you like more than the others, it's gonna go so much easier. You, you're not gonna think about brushes anymore, you're just gonna think about painting instead. And that's where you should be thinking. So my final suggestion is to just pick one or two brushes, maybe three, that you feel very comfortable with, that you like using, and stick with those. Just try a few paintings, only using those those brushes. Maybe you can use a few others, uh, maybe like 5% of the time, but for the main part, just try to use one or two brushes and get familiar with those, and then just get comfortable with them, and the rest will just fall in place. So I'll see you in the next video.